This is Captain Joe Kent with this week's BayGroupMedia.com fishing report. Well, you can see we're here at dock because the wind's just a little too strong to get out on the water. Now, none of us are complaining about that because this wind is a result of a major cold front that came through uh, early this week. And we've all been waiting for this. First of all, the, was strong, the front was strong enough that it's pushed a lot of the water out of the back bays and marshes, number one. Number two, it's dropped the water temperature to below 70 degrees, and that's good. And why is that good? Because it's going to get the flounder to move in, and it'll get the uh, speckled trout and reds to moving as well. Expect the uh, flounder run to be underway here by this weekend or early next week. Now this weekend we're supposed to have a southerly flow return, which will be good because it will bring water back into the bays and allow anglers to get out in uh, boats and, and uh, fish some of their favorite spots for all of the big three, trout, reds, and flounder. Now up until this cold front came through, only Trinity and East Bays were very productive, and they were good. Uh, the guides that were reporting out of those bays had been doing fairly well. But around the Galveston area, it was slow. But I think this front's going to really uh, give fishing a shot in the arm. Now, we, are right, we ought to be right in the middle of our fall fishing patterns uh, beginning about now. When I say beginning about now, I let that wind calm down to get a little water back in the bays. And we ought to be seeing the trout, red, and flounder move. Now, this is the time of year for the big flounder run. And they're going to be stacking up first over in East, excuse me, or in West Bay. For anywhere from the causeway down around uh, uh, as far as Caraco Reef. But the areas around Greens Cut and the Credit Confederate Reef are going to be holding some pretty good flounder as they make their moves out of the bays, out of the marshes and wetlands, uh, and start heading toward the Galveston Ship Channel. Now, in about another few weeks, the Galveston Ship Channel, especially the areas on the shorelines of Pelican Isle, are going to be loaded with flounder. The Texas Parks and Wildlife creel samples have shown that the flounder population is very strong this year, and we should have an excellent flounder run for fishing. Now keep in mind, beginning November 1, you can't gig for flounder, and number two, there's only a two fish limit per, per person per day. But that's okay. They allow those flounder to get out and get into the gulf, and you can still get your two fish and per day. And that's not a bad little quantity of fish to take home for dinner. Anyhow, we're looking forward to getting out on the water as soon as the conditions calm. And remember, the best time to go fishing is whenever you can. This is Captain Joe Kent, and we'll be back again next week.